when I'm trying to create something, I feel super insecure. And it's not because you, you don't trust on your own professionality, but it's more because you always try to look for something you, have, you did not do before. That thing you haven't made before, you didn't cook before. It's being very driven, very motivated to become something which I'm, which I'm not yet. I'm going to see if the aperitifs are in. 35, no, 18. Jorge? Yeah. 17 is one time, no eel. Can you take an oyster? Yeah. Your second series is going to be nine, one time, no lactose. Yeah. Hey, Gianluca. Yeah. Let's yeah. see if you want to do it. Let's go. 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 I am Nick. I'm the chef owner of the Jane Antwerp two Michelin star restaurants. I'm an entrepreneur, a very motivated DJ, a loving father, hopefully a good husband. It's a lot, but I so enjoyed to bring all those different things together that uh, for me, I don't think it's too much. I push myself and, and explore boundaries and try to always hoe is dat een beetje verder? Ik ga die borden gelijk uithalen, die zien we niet meer uit. Die staan al veel te lang uithalen daar. Kerel, dat kan niet, hè? Dat kan niet, hè? We staan hier te werken met man en macht om iets supermoois mee te geven. En jij laat het voor de kloten gaan. Het is fucking kloten, man. Food changed my life for sure. It was not only food, I think it's the lifestyle of being a chef. It's not, it's not just food related. Being focused on quality, being uh, triggered to search for perfection is something that really became my lifestyle. So was I always motivated for sure? I think I was the complete opposite. Kind of a bad guy, you know? When I was 14, I destroyed like a motorbike. I had to pay off uh, 1,500 euros for it. Started working as a dishwasher. And getting in touch with that whole scene of, of a kitchen was the first time I really wanted to listen to somebody who was telling me what to do. And before that, as a young guy, I never listened to anything, you know. They told me, you do this, and I went the complete opposite direction. And I forced myself, I really pushed myself to look back and, and think like, you know, if it would stop tomorrow, I can be a happy guy. But that's like very short, because I think also that that can create a kind of an arrogance, which is not good. I, I think you always need to have that kind of uncertainty and insecurity to always keep on looking further and further and dig deeper, you know? And traveling is, 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 that, is the oxygen that you need. All those different impressions to really um, help me create my own signature, my own voice. And by exploring, you really get triggered to to think in different directions. And open up for new flavors, to open up for new techniques, to open up for new people. Hello, Chef. Hello. Nice to meet you. I'm Nick. Okay, hi, Nick. Thank you very much for inviting me to the fish market. Yes. What I like about Japanese food is the fact that it's super focused on just the product. Here people really understand that if you take a product which is so unique or so good or so quality wise, you just need to put that on a on a little platform to, to make it shine. You feel if it's strong or soft? No no no, it's strong. Pretty good. It's good? Mm. It's also <laughs> on this market every single fish is an individual product. With us 4 kgs of sardines is just a box with 4 kgs of sardines. If you can go so selective, that means also that that one single bite is a unique bite. Otoro, chutoro, akabani. With us, food is a plate, is a dish. Here, a single bite is that one unique experience. People in Japan are very focused on executing something very, very good something that I feel that I need to allow myself more to be like. 
because at home I always feel I need to be innovating, I need to always look for a next step. And when I come to Japan, I, I also feel that it's, it's okay to sometimes just do what you do, but try to perfectionate that. For me, which is really important is the mindset of the Japanese people, how they, how they think about food. The Kaizen way of thinking, focusing on improvement. Chef, I have a question. How long have you been studying for this? How long did it take you to learn? I'm still studying. studying. <laughs> still studying, <laughs> yes. <laughs> still learning. There is always something to improve, to add. And I think that that is uh, very inspiring for me as a chef. I've learned that not everything is about new. Not everything is about innovation. And I've also learned that tradition and that knowledge and craftsmanship is something really important. Would it be possible to see, to see the knife? It, it's hot. All right. And this is going to be my sashimi knife. How do people rely on tradition? How do people rely on generation after generation, handing over knowledge, handing over um, experiences? is also something that I should not forget. So this is now my knife. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Thank you very much. But the mix of new and the mix of tradition, again, in that perfect harmony, I think that creates something very unique. Being 34 and, and being still this young guy, I'm really looking forward to the evolution that I will make the next 10 years. I truly don't feel that I'm already on my final destination. I truly feel that I'm still at the very beginning of what, I, what I'm capable of doing.